So we'd schedule, a like, say, two weeks off, and the first day off would be a Friday. I guarantee you the night before, Such would text all of us and say, I'm working tomorrow. <laughs> yes, wow. son of a bitch. Wow. <laughs> okay, so, Rook, you could go to Florida. I'll go to Marco. There you go. I'll go to Mo- through Montreal to Maine. That's 26 hours. Joe, you do Utah like you want to do. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, then. I thought that would China, be China, we might have to work. China <laughs> reported on Tuesday its fewest new coronavirus infections since January. They're commies. I'm not believing them. At its lowest daily death toll for a week, but the World Health Organization said data suggesting the epidemic had slowed should be viewed with caution. Chinese officials reporting 1,886 new cases. The first time the daily figure has fallen below 2,000 since January 30th. That brings the mainland China total to 72,436. A figure of 98 new deaths mark the first time the daily toll in China has fallen below 100 since February 11th. One of those who died uh, is Ling Ziming, the director of the Wuhan Wucheng Hospital. Uh, that is the hospital designated solely for treating virus-infected patients. Why should we believe them when they house arrest their own people and uh-huh. make other whistleblowers disappear? Here, here. I'm not going to believe a word they say. Right. I have breaking news. Yes? Yoko Ono, 87 today. Oh, God. Vikings warriors were fueled by a hallucinogenic herbal tea as they went on bloodthirsty raids across northern Europe, <laughs> according to scientists. The war- I don't think that Vince can have any legs, can he? <laughs> The warrior culture of the Scandinavian Middle Ages was marked by Norse skirmishes with their neighboring communities that often involved looting and pillaging. Elite fighters known as berserkers who went into battle without traditional armor entered into a state of animalistic frenzy before fighting. Uh, It's said that after the battles finished, their anger subsided. And now scientists think the secret behind their fearless rampages, mind-bending hallucinogens. That must be where we get the term berserk. Yeah, berserkers. Mm -hmm. Known as stinking henbane, which is otherwise poisonous, the plant wow. the plant caused <laughs> Those the war- Vikings would try anything, wouldn't they? Yeah. I didn't know this. Did you know this? The plant caused the warriors to strip naked for battle. Did we know oh, Vikings? I did not know that. Fought that's, naked. That's badass. That's really tough. Right. They stripped naked for battle and went into frenzied attacks. Oh boy. Well, they didn't would- Millard take out the Hardies when he was in Vikings training camp naked? When he was using his arms that are more powerful than any gun. That's what it was. Wasn't Millard the one with the gigantic... Uh, no, you're thinking of Asante Shanko. Arms? Yeah. Oh, big yeah. arms. Yeah. That Millard had big arms. I know. That was a catcher. Tim uh, Tim Laudner. Tim Laudner. Yeah. What the hell? What? It would have made the... swinging a big bat? <laughs> yeah, from what I hear, yeah. <laughs> would have made the infamous warriors unable to feel much pain, the drug would have, as well as becoming unpredictable and highly aggressive. Karsten Fatur is an ethnobotanist at the University of Ljubljana, Sweden, yep. in Slo- Slovenia, actually, oh. said the Vikings could have made tea from the potent herb or just drunk it with alcohol. You got to eat some Doritos with these things. <laughs> they taste awful. <laughs> he said they could have made the tea from it, could have infused it, or they could have made an ointment of the plant in mm. animal fat and rubbed it on their skin would have reduced the sensation of pain and made them wild, unpredictable, and highly aggressive. Hey, this doesn't wow. hurt anymore. Crazy. Well, you guys know what the term skull actually means, does don't no, you? No, It means drink blood from their skulls. Oh, boy. Yeah. Wow. That's a good chant for the Vikings. Yeah. <laughs> See, I was, at a, I was at a wedding Friday night. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Only three hand me your phones. Only three? Really? Had three hand me your phones. Yep. You guys were especially irritating Friday night. Yeah. My God. Kenny, you're just no fun. Oh, you think you're funny. I thought that was pretty good. You get yeah, two you drinks and you you think you're Bob bleeping hope. Yeah. Oh, my God. Only three phones. Hand me your phone. Yeah. yeah. Sybil Shepard's 70 today. Okay. I'm For, done. Okay. <laughs> Vanna hey, who's going to Fratelloni's today? Uh, I already went for paint this week. I gotta. I do have to buy a lawnmower. Before, time? before a spring. little early for that. No, I know, but, but what, that's where I'd get it. But what what is the best time? Because aren't they gonna are they they're not gonna jack up prices on me in springtime? Are no, they? No, they might have a presale. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, that's yeah. what I'm gonna do then. Fred Van Van White is 63 today. Uh, you killing oh. his mic while I go Pod MN? Yeah, on your phone app. Pod MN on your phone app. Download that and you can get all of Minnesota's wonderful. Let's see if you can go get a jabless Shaletta. <laughs> 
can also go to podmn.com to make it easy on you, though. You want to get a podcast that Kenny's a lot funnier on? Search through garagelogic.com. Garagelogic.com. <laughs>